All right, so we do have everybody's microphones muted. That is just to assist uh, Alina, who will be reading our book today, Red, A Crayon Story. Um, this story actually holds some um, very, it's very sentimental to the Museum of Discovery and Science, especially during Pride Month and Pride Day for us. Um, last, This is our second annual Pride Day. Last year, we were able to celebrate Pride at the museum. This year, due to weird circumstances, we have to do it virtually, which is fine because we still love connecting and inspiring everybody um, for science. And what we're going to do is we'll have Alina read the book and then we'll say goodbye to everybody and then we'll see everybody again at one o'clock. We're going to be making slime. So if you got the supply list and you got the things or if you didn't and you just want to watch us make slime and play with it, join us at one o'clock. It's a different link. OK, it's a different link. It's not the same link as this one. Um, you got to be pre-registered. And if you didn't get the link or you don't know what I'm talking about, you can whisper me in the chat or um, general chat and we can send you the link privately as well. And um, we want to thank Bank of America for being our sponsor and sponsoring this as well. Um, very, very proud, very happy to be working with them. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce Alina, who will be reading the book Red, A Crayon Story by Michael Hall. Ready? Let's go. All right, guys, let's get going. If it has a glare and you can't make something out, please feel free to tell us so we can adjust it. The lighting's a little funny here. He was red. But he wasn't very good at it. His teacher thought he needed more practice. I'll draw a red straw strawberry, then you will draw a red strawberry. You can do this, really. But he couldn't, really. Like this? Oh my, uh, let's try again. He's trying his hardest. I'm sure we've all had that moment. His mother thought he needed to mix with other colors. Why don't you two go out and draw a nice round orange? A really big one, a really orange one. But they made a big greenish one. Yuck. Oops, does that look like orange to you? You look really hard, it could be. His grandparents thought he wasn't warm enough. Your class is making self-portraits for parents' night. Wear this warm red scarf. Nice, it's so you. We all received a wonderful gift from our grandparents. Beautiful scarves. But it so wasn't. There's Red's beautiful portrait. Does it look like him? I don't think his parents are so or his grandparents are surprised. Oh dear me. Green has some fantastic art skills right there. Everyone seemed to have something to say. Sometimes I wonder if he's really red at all. Don't be silly, it says red on his label. He came that way from the factory. Frankly, I don't think he's very bright. Well, I think he's lazy, right? He's gotta press harder, really apply himself. Give him time, he'll catch on. Of course he will. Everyone has something to say. But he didn't catch on. Green drew a green frog. Black drew a black sheep. Brown drew a brown cow. And red, ah, that isn't a red ant he wanted. All of a 
supplies, wanted to help. The masking tape thought he was broken inside. This will help hold you together. The scissors thought his label was too tight. One snip should do it. I thought he wasn't sharp enough. Stay still now. Do you think those things are gonna help him be read? Well, let's see. But even with all our help, oh, his hard work. He just couldn't get the hang of it. What does a blue stoplight mean? Hmm. <laughs> but one day he met a new friend and they asked, will you make a blue ocean for my boat? They asked, will you try? Do you think he can make a blue ocean if he's red? Yeah? Well, let's see. So he did. They said, thank you. It's perfect. You're welcome. It was so easy. And he didn't stop there. He made blue bells, blue jeans, blue birds, blueberries, and blue whales. He realized, I'm blue. He wasn't red, he was blue, and everyone was talking. My son is brilliant. Who could have known he was blue? I always said he was blue. It was obvious. His blue ocean really lifted me. All of his work makes me happy. His blue strawberries are my favorite. He's so intense. I'm going to make a green lizard with him, a really big one. I hear he's working on a huge new project. He's really reaching for the sky. So all those people who were talking before, they have new things to say. And he really was reaching for the sky. The end. Now I hope everyone liked that story. Thank you for tuning in. And remember, you'll find something you're good at. That's it. So we have our next program will be at one o'clock. At one o'clock, we are going to have slime making. We'll do that with <clears throat> Shanita. Alina and Shanita. And then we mm -hmm. will have another program at two o'clock and that will be with Mr. Brady and we'll be doing um, rainbow Wait. science. So density and milk rainbows and um, all kinds of fun <laughs> stuff. So we look forward to seeing everybody at one o'clock and everybody have a good one. Again, we wanna thank Bank of America for being our sponsor and we'll see everybody later.